Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today is a good day. It is Saturday. It is the Saturday before Easter as I am filming this video. It's Easter Eve. It's Easter Eve, yes. And we've had a lovely slow start to the morning, which I adore very much. We woke up, thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, I don't, why, when I said that, did I automatically think that? Like, we woke up. Yes, we're here. We're alive and well. Hi. I'll, um, be, I'll be right back. Are you going to put on a blue shirt? You never know. Stop it right now. Guys, he's out of control. Um, anyways. I'm melting. You're wearing a blue hat and you have blue jeans and your shoes are not blue. But anyways, so we had a lovely, peaceful, slow start to the day. We had breakfast. We listened to some Harry Potter music. We went on our morning walk. Our weather started off really chilly. It was like 48 degrees overnight for the low, but... We have a beautiful 80 degree weather day ahead of us. Of course, I'm in a sweatshirt. I'm gonna have to change it. You guys are probably dying over this sweatshirt. Am I right? Am I right? Are you obsessed? Do you love it? Because I do. I saw it at Target. Guys, this Candyland shirt is from Target. It, and it is like a thicker, like great material sweater too. It's very fluffy. The sleeves are cuffed. Like it's just so perfect. But when I saw it, I was like, I, I literally have to have it. It reminds me of like, Something that you'll wear when you're a grandma too, but also very nostalgic for me because this was my favorite game as a child. Like I was obsessed with Candyland. Every time we had sleepovers at my grandma and grandpa's, I had the Candyland game and I always played it. I loved it so much. So when I saw this sweater, I was like, stop it. And this says established in 1949. The colors are really cute, right? So it's very springy and summery. But then also, I feel like it's festive Christmas vibes too. You can rock it all year round. And then the candy lamp part is stitched in so well. Like it is amazing. I'm obsessed with it. So anyways, that's where I got it. I'll try to find it and link it below, but Target is difficult with that. Sometimes they don't have things on the site, but that's where I got mine. <laughs> and then I did pick up a couple more things from Target. So I'll show you guys that as well. But Right now, I need to make some lunch. And I'm gonna have one of these. Oh God, that is so loud. I'm not, I'm not having this for lunch, but I do wanna have one. I got these on a Publix buy one, get one sale. I prefer the Almond Joy because your girl loves a nut in her chocolate, okay? But Larry made a note because these have been in the fridge for a week and he must have went to go have one a few minutes ago and he was like, you haven't opened the mounds yet. And I was like, no, I haven't. You can open them. And he gave me the sab look. So Larry didn't want to open it yet <laughs> until I opened it. So we're opening these mounds and we're going to have some. Babe is lamb up from afternoon nap. Babe, mm -hmm. is Liam up from his nap? He's still been over in the corner. Oh, he is? Here's what he's thinking about it. So, we have a lot to get done today. As you guys know, I've mentioned, we're working on the lanai. That is a project, let me just say. The furniture layout was not what we had originally ordered. It was a manufacturer issue with the photo that they had online. Anyways, it was a whole thing. <laughs> but the good news is, is that we're working on it. We bought a pool tote for the pool supplies. I told you about that. So we had a lot of like cardboard boxes and stuff like that. I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. <coughs> I was gonna say, don't tell me I'm gonna blow out some dark chocolate on my beautiful cream sweater. Um, we need to take the cardboard and the styrofoam and the stuff to the recycle and then to the dump that can't be recycled. So we have to go on a little road trip and get that done today. And I don't think we're making any more stops. So then the rest of the day, I need to get organized for Easter tomorrow. Oh, I need to, hold on. <coughs> we may stop at Publix today, but I don't think we will just to pick up an Easter cake to take over to mom and dad's because tomorrow we are heading over to the family's house for Easter. And I am gonna vlog that. I will be bringing you guys along for the journey with that and I'm excited. Now that I've had a mound before my lunch, that salad that I made in the last vlog, I still have that left over. I filmed that Friday, you guys saw it on Saturday. This is only one day old, not even so. And it's pretty crispy, so I think I'll have the leftover salad and then I don't know what, but I'm gonna make Liam's lunch first and that's what I'm having. 
Oh no. What is it? No. Rotten? I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming that's not good. We'll just cut that section off. Yeah, get rid of it. Hang on. Oh, no. Yeah, just that bottom piece is like. Unwell. I've never peeled a mango this way. But it worked because it's so ripe. All right, so I'm having a salad and a mango for lunch, I guess. Scrub, scrub. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 scrub, scrub. You see that, that? And I'm also gonna have La La Lu, Larry and the dinosaur in the background. Um, I'm gonna have three of these. Well, three is just the serving size, but they're the Tillamook, Tillamook? Yeah. Country Smoker Zero Sugar Original Smoked Sausages. These are so good. I get mine at Target and they're delicious. If you like beef jerky and that kind of stuff, they're good. Okay. I think that's it. Easter dessert, cheddar bunnies, veggie straws, potato chips, and blueberries. Done. I am so not kidding. Guys, I just went to go to the bathroom and I screamed. There was a big frog in our toilet. Not a snake, thank God. I've always heard the horror stories though about stuff being able to crawl into the pipes or gets into the pipes and I've always freaked out about a snake coming up through the toilet. There is a frog in our toilet. We have to rescue it. Oh my God, stop it. Dude, he was in there. I am not going crazy. He's in there. I know he's in there. There he is. Oh, he is big. He's a huge frog. Wow. I'm gonna have to like stick something in there to get him to come forward so you can catch him, right? Yeah. Shut up. We have a frog in the toilet. Maybe it's not a frog. Maybe it's an alien. No, it is a frog. It is not an alien. Don't come that close to you. <laughs> Liam unrolling our paper towels. All right, should I use that? Uh, no, that's gonna push him in further. Not if I go at an angle. I need a skinny stick. Yeah, skinny stick. I need to find a skinny stick. Can you believe we have a frog in the toilet? Hey, you, you gotta come out of there. You don't wanna be in there. What am I gonna do? You don't wanna be in there, you wanna come out. Come on out. I'll take you outside. Larry, I'm gonna have to use that. We don't have anything. I'm just gonna have to stick it in at an angle. No, oh, it's too big. I know what to do, just trust me. I won't hurt him. <clears throat> well, I don't think you'll hurt him, but I, you... He is a frog, right? Yeah. This is not like anything. Well, I'm gonna you? have to touch the icky end of the stick. <laughs> Great, I cannot believe this is happening today. That's not gonna work. You were right. I know, Liam. Come here, baby. Come on, Mama. Let's go find something. We're using a skewer for the shrimp, but the soft side, not the stabbing side, obviously. We don't want to hurt our little friend in, in the toilet. It hurts yourself more than Oh my God. I don't know why I'm so freaked out by this right now. No, don't go in. He keeps going back in. I don't blame him. He's scared. We're trying to rescue you. How did we get a huge frog in the toilet? Did you just look up at the ceiling as if it dropped out of the sky like it had to have? Thank you for the spoon. Liam brought me a spoon to get the frog out. That was nice. Should I try again? Can you see him? I can see his toes. It's true, it can happen. Snakes can come up through your toilet. Oh yeah. I've never even seen a frog this big before. And have you in Florida? Not in Florida. This thing is a s no, I'm gonna have to pause and wait for him to come out. All right, big step.
Well, well, you join us in the car. I need to start the car. As you can see, the car is packed with boxes. And you can also probably say, hello, I'm wearing a different shirt because sweet Liam, I decided to give him chocolate. Um, and he decided to spit out that chocolate on my sweater. So I was like, like, I was so excited about that sweater and now we have chocolate on it. I'm like, is that stain even gonna come out, Liam? I don't know. So Larry suggested we do the spray and wash on it and I take it off, which I'm glad I did because it is hot. It is 80 degrees. It is not thick sweater weather. It is inside with AC, but not when you don't have it on. So, or when you come outside. Anyways, okay, also, um, Larry's bringing Liam his little dog toy. It's so cute. It sings. He loves it. So it's going in the back. They sell it at Target, by the way. I'll show it to you guys. What's Not right this? now because it's back there, but. Okay, and the latest with the frog is unfortunately he has crawled up in and he's like hiding. So we put the lid down, obviously, because if he gets out, he'll be in the house and we'll never find him again. And him and Lexi could have an experience and we don't want that for the frog or for Lexi. So we put the lid down in hopes that the frog will come out while we're gone and we'll slowly open the toilet bowl and like scoop him out and rescue him and put him in the yard. So I cannot believe that happened. I still can't believe that happened. And I want to show him to you guys because he's a beefy beefy guy. He's a big one. If I get copyrighted for ABCs, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> he's, he's not huge, but he's big. He's big. He's like the size of my palm, though. Yeah. He we're, would fit in the size of my palm. The, the little guys down here. Like the little green frog. I said, that's like an Ohio juicy frog that you see in a pond in the country. Yeah. Look up Valley City, Ohio. The frog jumping capital of the world. We have Wildberry today, courtesy of Larry. They get big frogs. Mm -hmm. Big ones. Then he BLs the Bufo frogs. No, that's mine. That's yours. Well, it's in the back now. Was that a mosquito? No, it wasn't a mosquito. It was bigger than that. Make sure his air is good. Yep, his air is good. All right, let's roll. It's a beautiful sunny day. Let's roll. Yeah! Hey, look. White shirt. Nyaha! <laughs> I'm melting. I love your blue hat, babe. Thanks. And your skeleton has a blue water background. That's right. Perusing Target. Here are some books. You want to put that in the cart? Good job. Fiction bestsellers. So much to look at. Read. That's cool. Guys, these little mushrooms are so cute. I like those a lot. Did you hear that? Here's a little peek into our cart so far. Got this book. This book to read to Liam. Um, a replacement for his size six. We are in sevens now. His little garbage truck, a ball that we uh, found along the way. And it's very light, perfect for Liam actually. And then I'll show you guys these options. Okay, yes, don't judge me. We have another Candyland sweater. Um, these shirts just fit perfect. So I'll show you guys those when we get home. See the lights, buddy? Let's sniff some candles, red mango and amber. Sounds weird. I see it. A pumpkin banana scone Yankee candle. Oh my god. That is so good. Not summery at all, but so good. I might have to. There's the da da. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know what this is. What is this it? Yankee Candle smoked vanilla and cashmere smells exactly like marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works. Just get yourself completely out of here. True story, Larry. What's up there? You see the light? 
He sees the light. He's gonna take my hat and throw it on the floor. Boom. Did I put that back on? You gonna take it off again? Okay. Okay, my question is, is this too sweet for you? Okay. Mm. Or is it good? Yeah, too much? It's borderline. Borderline, okay. I'd have to... Smell it burn? Yeah. Ow! Soy blend. These are pretty. Are you wearing daddy's hat? Oh, they have the stand leaves. Just took a glance at these because I thought, ooh, yum, perfect for a quick snack. No, guys, no, 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 because 18 grams of added sugar. Why do we do that? Dad, 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 dad. We are home, and I got a delivery for something that I ordered for Liam. <gasps> this is for you. Mommy needs some. You got a little man. Mama's got a shark. Alrighty. Pull the box down. <sighs> what did mommy get for Liam? Incoming. I need to see the picture on how it was set up. We got stairs to step on. It probably goes by that one. Oh, I think we're gonna flip them around instead. Or maybe this one goes in the middle. So here's what I picked up. So essentially it's just like a climbing, stepping thing. Or thing for him to pick up and <laughs> roll around yeah. the pieces. Oh yeah, that's what we got it for. And it's completely padded. Whoa! What did he do? I'm gonna slide down. Ooh! You wanna take my hat off? Thank you. Good job. We are back home from our outing and I got these and I think we should try them together. So these are the Siete grain-free cinnamon chip churro strips. So good. So I ended up getting the, I think is it the Dots brand of the cinnamon pretzels. Oh my gosh, so good. But there's also so much sugar on those. So I they're was trying- They're so delicious. They're so delicious. Like I would, oh my gosh, amazing. Um, but I was looking for something with a little less sugar. So I found these, there's only five grams of sugar in here. It is added sugar, but obviously because it's the cinnamon sugar, churro, whatever. Um, but let's give it, oh boy. Oh, is this like not going to open this way? Am I going to have to cut it? Yes. Okay. These are obviously not going to taste like the cinnamon pretzels. I don't think they look like this. All right. Let's try it. Want to try it? You try it. Mm-hmm, like yeah. You know what it tastes like? A regular tortilla chip with, with a dusting hint of cinnamon sugar. Definitely a healthier alternative to like something that's doused in cinnamon and sugar. That's what it reminds me of. Wanna try one? Sure. I think Liam would like these too. Mmm. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're good. So we just got home and we were gonna see if the frog had come up the toilet, right? And he wasn't. I was like, oh my gosh. And Larry's like, I think he may be living in in the toilet because we have a second toilet off of the kitchen. 
back to back, side to side kind of thing with the. Yeah, they kind of join each other. He's like, because I opened the lid and there was something in it that was really weird. We don't use this toilet. It hasn't worked since we got it. We just need to buy a new toilet. But the counter is really low. It's a whole thing. Anyways, we never look in this toilet because we just don't use it. The lid's always down. So we just lifted up the lid and there is a ton of frog poop. It looks like these just little tiny black dots in the toilet. This frog is literally living in the toilet, like in between both toilets. Silly frog. I have never. <laughs> Mama, I have never experienced a frog living in the toilet. What are you supposed to do about that? Evict him. Evict him as soon as we get him. And obviously we can still flush the toilet as normal because he's obviously been living in the toilet for a minute. Or two. Or two. Or a month. With the amount of poo that's in the other toilet. That is funny. We're all living in our toilets. What is the world coming to? I have changed for the third time. Is it the second time, the first time? First time was the Candyland. I changed that, changed the tank or the white Disney shirt because hello tacos and I don't want to ruin the white shirt. So I made tacos for dinner. I'm getting ready to build my taco. So I'm going to build it with you guys. All right, so we've got our ground beef. I'm gonna layer the ground beef with a, with a bit of the Taco sauce. No, you guys, I did my taco wrong. I always put the lettuce down as the base first because it absorbs the liquid from the meat so that your shell doesn't break apart being soggy at the bottom. I messed up my tacos, but that's okay. It all goes to the same place. It's just, it might break apart. Argento's extra sharp cheddar and I am not shy with my my cheese on my tacos and then we are going to add our hot sauce I like Frank's red hot and I like the green Cholula with tacos and this is our dinner Liam is having a deconstructed taco with some of the Annie's hold on cheddar mix some grapes and some plain Greek yogurt. And then Larry, I think, is having like cheddar bacon hot dogs on the grill or something like that. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight. I'm very excited. I totally forgot to put my cilantro on there. So now we have cilantro. And then these are my two favorites on top of tacos. Hello, guys. It is the evening now. Tacos were amazing. Uh, did the dishes, got the kitchen all cleaned up, had playtime with little man. He is off to bed now. He is not asleep yet. I'm watching him on the monitor, but he is down for the night. So I figured I would come in here and show you guys everything that I picked up at Target. Um, and then I did say I was going to show you guys the dog. Liam loves this dog. You can find it at Target too. There's a girl dog and um, I'm assuming this is the boy dog. So keeps him busy. He loves it. Teaches them things. So this is our little road plus inside, like, I don't know. Liam just loves it. So I figured I would share in case you have a toddler. And then the toothbrush that I use for him, which is amazing. I've seen a couple of questions about you guys asking me like, how did I get Liam to love to like get his teeth brushed? He doesn't, <laughs> he does not like, like brushing his teeth or having his teeth brushed. He tolerates it. But this brush I love because it's like it has stuff on the sides and the bottom. So like you're getting the back of the teeth too instead of just a generic like flat toothbrush. Here, I'll show it to you guys. So it has these extra bristles. So you're getting like the fronts and the back of the teeth on top of like the bottoms of the teeth. So I love, love, love this toothbrush. So I know I've got to be quick. I'm getting in there and this is amazing. So that is the toothbrush. And then you guys already know I've mentioned these shoes before and I get a lot of questions about the shoes that he wears. Um, these are the shoes that I get there by the Cat and Jack brand. He's in a size seven, like he's outgrowing the sixes and he's in a seven. So I picked him up the blue shoes and then we have those really cute white Adidas size sevens that I picked up at Marshall's the other day. I am so obsessed to put them in those cause they're all white and they're crisp and clean. But for like days at the park and days for running around in the yard and like our daily walks that we all take, these are a staple for that. 
um, makeup items that I picked up. So I love, so Maybelline has like the four in one skin, whatever it is. And I love it. I've talked about it before, but I've also heard they have like a foundation, I guess, or treatment makeup eraser. It's the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser treatment makeup. Goji berry and collagen SPF 18. Always wear an SPF anyways. Don't use your makeup as an SPF. But this is what I picked up. Is it focusing on my hands? There we go. So I picked up this one and I picked up this one. So I don't know if there's a difference between the two or the packaging is just different. Um, the shades are different, but this one is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup. So I think it's just the packaging is different. So I got it in Nude and then 120. It was very hard to tell what my shade was. So I'm going to compare this to what I have. The one that I have, that foreign one, is more of like a glow skin tint um, with no coverage or anything. It's just like a nice glow skin tint. Perfect. I just put a little bit of concealer with it. But I'm intrigued to try these two. I think I'm going to try it tomorrow for Easter. And then clothing, guys. I found one t-shirt. I was the one I was wearing today, the Disney white t-shirt. And I was like, oh, that's cute for like when we take Liam to Disney, it would be cute to wear. Plus it's white because, you know, Florida is freaking hot. So a light color is great, but these are like thin, nice, like not thin, transparent, but hi Lexi, but thin in like the nice way that it's not heavy and it just lays nice and the hit on the sleeves are perfect. They're not too short. They're not too long. It's literally just the lightweight, perfect unisex, but kind of like women's cut, but not really t-shirt. I don't know how to explain it, but it's that good. So I bought this the other day and I love the way it hit and fit so much. I was like, I'm going to grab a couple in size medium. Is this 100% cotton? That's the only thing I'm a little nervous about. 50% cotton. See, some of the mediums that I grabbed today are 100% cotton t-shirts, so that is not good. But t-shirt number one, t-shirt number two, I used to have, who remembers the t-shirt that I had that looked like this? It was all white and gray, a lot thicker material. I like this one because it's a lot of a, th a thinner material, but I also like the colors, the pink and like that purple, what would you call that guys? Periwinkle kind of color. Is this the 100% cotton one? Are we doomed here? 100% cotton. Wash inside out. Wash once before wearing. Oh, wow. I've never seen that in there before. Machine wash cold with light colors. Do not bleach. Tumble dry low. Do not iron decoration. Okay. So, oof. say a prayer that I don't shrink it and ruin it. And then, okay, I saw this and I'm like, okay, it's going to look cute. I... <sighs> Do you know how many times I've seen Barbie shirts and not purchased them just because they were too loud? I feel like this is that pretty light pink white print Barbie where it's like low key. I did still not watch the Barbie film, guys. Let me know. Have you watched Barbie? I'm sure like everybody was ranting and raving about Barbie. So I'm sure it's amazing, but I was never into Barbies. So it was, I just, I didn't. And here I am with the Barbie shirt, guys. I bought it for the color and because it was cute, to be honest, but um. I was more of like a sports girl and like knocking trees over <laughs> to cross rivers kind of girl. Um, but I love the shirt and it looks cozy and comfortable. So anyways, let me know if I should watch Barbie. Let me know if Larry, if you guys think Larry would like it. I don't know. I've heard it's funny. I've heard it's amazing. So just let me know in the comments. This is a 50% cotton. So this is the same exact material as the Disney shirt, which I love. The Nirvana one is a little thicker, a little different, 100% cotton. The blend, okay, so if you go and get these t-shirts, look for the blend that's the 50% cotton and 50% polyester. This is the one that I'm saying, because not all of them are like that, obviously. Uh, this is one of those. It's like stretchy and light and thin, and I love it. Uh-oh, we're dying. The camera's dying. I'm going to have to change the battery. Here is another, is this a 50-50? 60 and 40% cotton. Okay, how cute is this, guys? Nashville. It's just so fun and summery. I loved that. And then the last t-shirt is a Ford Bronco. Again, I got it for the colors, 50%, 50-50, so perfect. 
the colors. That's why I got it. How cute is that? With some jeans, with leggings, with shorts, jean shorts, whatever you want to wear. Yes, I bought another Candy Lane shirt. Candy, Candy Land shirt. Did I say Candy Lane? I'm rushing. Candy Land shirt. Do not come for me. Do not judge me. This is my backup sweatshirt. That's how much I love this sweatshirt. And with having a toddler and I ended up with chocolate on mine today, it can happen. So this one I am storing away for when that happens. And then Larry is a huge fan of Monte Carlos. And I, I don't know, Target came out with some winners. Look at this zip up. Guys, It the quality is incredible too. It's a quarter zip. And then the back has print on it. How freaking cool is this? Look at the sleeves. It's a winner. We died, but we are back. I forgot to show you guys this. I also picked up the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Translucent Powder to set my concealer. You guys know I love the Mer Laura Mercier one, um, but I went with this one this time. So I've used this in the past, love it. And then the other thing that we got was this book. Larry and I just watched Wonka. Um, we were late to the party on that, but I thought this book, like as Liam gets a little bit older, would be fun to read to him. The print's really big. Maybe one day he'll want to read it himself. Like, here's the print. So, I don't know. I thought that that would be a fun read. And then I also picked up this, which is Our Faithful God. I think it's a devotional book, 52 Weeks of Learning or Leaning. I can't see. They put a sticker right over it. Leaning on His Unchanging Character. Um, it's a New York Times bestselling author of Daring to Hope by Katie Davis Majors. So I don't know. I thought it would be nice to dive in and read and God of New Beginnings, God who looks on us with love, God who restores, God who triumphs over evil. I don't know. I just thought it would be insightful, uplifting, and just helpful, I would say. Like I'm just in a place where I need this. That's how I feel. So I'm, I'm hitting that spot in my life where I'm really reaching out. I want to give this a try. If you have any recommendations of things that I should read as like somebody who is seeking God, please let me know in the comments down below where I should start, where I should begin. Um, and then on top of that book, I picked up A Little Life. Now, if you guys are into like book talk or Instagram book, whatever's all the awesome things that show you what you should read. This one has popped a lot on my phone, popped up a lot on my phone. So this is one of the books that I'm going to be putting forward for the April read, but I've heard so many amazing things about it that even if my book doesn't get picked or this isn't the pick, like I want to read it in my downtime or maybe it'll get picked for the next read. So basically a little life follows four college classmates broke adrift and beyond only by their friendship and ambition as they move to New York in search of fame and fortune. While the relationships which are tinged by addiction, success, and pride deepen over the decades, the men are held together by their devotion to the brilliant and enig oh my gosh, enigmatic Jude? Enigmatic, I've never heard that word, enigmatic June, Jude. A man scared by an unspeakable childhood trauma. A hymn to brother a hymn to brotherly bonds and a masterful depiction of love in the 21st century. Anya Yan, is that the author? Guys, I cannot pronounce the author's last name. Um, it says stunning novel is about the families we are born into and those that we make for ourselves. So I've heard a lot of amazing things. I've also heard that this is quite the tearjerker, like all of the emotions. If you have read this, let me know what your thoughts are. And I am definitely excited to read it. It's a chunky read. Let's see how many pages. Those are the acknowledgements. I am not reading the last chapter. Don't trick me, girl. Oh, I just lost the page. Maybe it's telling me not to look. Like 800 and something pages in this book, 810. That's, that's a beefy book. So that is everything that I picked up. Thank you so much for watching and spending the day with me. I'm very excited for Easter tomorrow. This is Liam's second Easter and I'm just so excited. We're gonna have, we're gonna have an amazing day 
um, and I am filming so I'll bring you guys along for the day and all the festivities and the family day and everything so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys again in the next video p.s. I ended up not purchasing a candle today is that a win maybe